What's that? Then beat me up, Spunky! Do I to see your anus? I'm Lawrence Cheney from RuPaul's Drag Race UK Series 2. And today I'm going to be revealing the behind the scenes of this runway look. Now we have a lot to discuss. Me and Ellie had an argument. Don French was judging a stand-up challenge and the runway theme this week was stoned on the runway. I actually don't think I hated anyone's runway look and that's bizarre for me because normally I hate everyone. You're tacky and I hate you. Okay, you see me after class. So if you want to get in on some of the ghosts and you want to see me transform into my intergalactating self, then keep on watching. All right, now I've concealed my hair that most of you think is a wig. I'm gonna go ahead and mix some pink foundation using my lovely, lovely, lovely pink from the Destroyed Flash palette. Um, and I'm gonna mix it with a bit of white just to make it a bit lighter because it is my foundation base. And then you can bring the darker pink in so it's still a contour and uh, you can use pure white as a highlight. So, right, here we go. Can we talk about how this Krylon TV paint stick now looks like my arsehole? Find me a church to go to. I need peace in my heart. I need it now. Bring me. We're one minute into this tutorial. Oh my god. Then using my beauty blender, I'm gonna go ahead and blend all this out to make it look pure lovely. No. Um what do I want to say? What do I want to emote to the people? Fucking blend it out, alright, here we go. Oh yeah. These are lovely, lovely brushes that I got from Beauty Bay. Um, and they're so soft, so light, and so good. Like they don't lift any foundation. I love that I'm ruining them right now with all this talcum powder. Oh well. I'm gonna now I'm just gonna do my nose. I know what you're thinking, all the intergalactic aliens that you know uh, don't quite contour their nose. Well listen, I'm about to change the game up with international... International? Intergalactic. Intergalactic! Intergalacteating. <laughs> Watch my lips. No, 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 no. Again, all I mixed up was a tiny bit of black, a bit of brown, and the same pink as before from the flash palette. I use it on my brows most of the days, and then, you know, on the odd day, paint myself pink so I look like an intergalactic monster. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I meant, what I said tonight? A COVID test, the only action I've had in about 10 months. Practically choking on them. Let me tell you, the medic at the show was probably like, what is this queen doing? Because I was like, <laughs> <laughs> on a COVID test. Just not right. The level of unprofessionalism, far too much. I'm just trying to like feather the contour out into the crease. That little depth will help in some way or another. So I'm just kind of trying to make it as smooth as possible. A little smooth transition there. Like the ones Niall puts in in my video. Thanks Niall. Now we've done our forehead and our nose. As always, I'm gonna do the rest of my face, my neck. And for this look, because I'm wearing a headpiece, it's almost tantamount to wearing an updo. So you need to just make sure you get a bit of the ear and make sure you get behind the ear here, all covered in pink or else the, the nude pink illusion of this whole intergalactic monster will become an intergalactic mace. Oh yay! Do you know, this week's mini challenge was so, so fun. Doing karaoke, uh, having to sing one of RuPaul's songs, it's so funny. I love, RuPaul just looked at us, she laughed and she was like, wow, you all know the lyrics. Better than me. I was like, legend. Now, to make me look less like a penis, I'm going to take the Revolution times Alexis Stone eyeshadow palette and I'm going to take every shade of pink that they possibly have to both deepen and highlight my face. So it adds a whole load more dimension than the kind of bell end look that I've got now. <laughs> Again, you're just trying to achieve the same kind of shadows and shapes that you achieve normally with your foundation and contour, only it's bright pink. You know, want some nice, beautiful, rosy pink cheeks. 
Just using my Krylon TV paint stick in 070, although it still has got a wee bit of pink left on it, I'm using that white just to highlight the tip of the nose. Now the finishing touch for my nose highlight is what one of my subscribers called Lawrence's Piss Slit. And I didn't realise you could see my piss slit on camera and then I realised they were talking about the line I draw at the end of my nose to make it look more turned up. Thanks subscriber! Now it's on to the eyes. F***ing hell my horns are dead dirty. As always for my eye makeup today I'm using the NYX Professional Makeup Epic Ink Eyeliner in black and I'm going to trace out my whole eye shape before going in with any eyeshadow because we don't have an eyebrow you can really go ham with the size of that crease so with that being said let's pray The next step is I'm going to go in with some eyeshadow Starting with a kind of midway colour of a bright pink. I always build it up with shadow first and then worry about blending out when all the shadow's there. Now I'm just building up that shadow with some other colours. Now taking the same shadows I've used on my crease and I'm going to put them under my eye. Now's the time to apply the eyeshadow. We all panic about applying. We're going in with some black eyeshadow. Now all the black eyeshadow is applied, I'm going to start blending it out using some wine colours and some cerise and pink colours. Because the point is, black you need to use very sparingly a lot of the time. Um, so you don't want to spread the black to be wherever you don't want it. Now I know it still looks very very messy but trust the f process. So I'm going to go in to cut my crease with the Huda Beauty Matte and Metal uh, Melted Shadows and I find it great because you can use the matte side to cut your crease and then use the metallic side to make it look pure dead brilliant and shiny and sparkly without trying to push all loads of craft glitter right into your eyeball. It's a win-win. Until you have to take it off, then it's a lose-lose. I'm going to use the Kiko Daring Look Eye Marker to fill in the rest of my liner before we clean up any of the rest of the mess of the eye makeup and make it look pure stunning. Now I've finished the base for my eye makeup without any rhinestones being thrown on it, I'm going to go in and do my lips. So I'm taking uh, this darker shade and I'm going to outline my lips, then blend it in and then we're going to brighten it up with a wee bit of pink lippy gloss. Yeah, she's sexy. Now I'm just gonna jump off camera. I'm gonna throw on my pads, my corset, my bra. No t-shirts getting off over that headpiece. So I do need to change into something a wee bit more scantily clad and sexy. The things that keep the rolls in. Back rolls. Yes, I know this body shaper is ripped to shreds. Uh, it looks like my prehistoric costume. And yes, I do have foam tips. Hod your weesht. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some lash glue. I'm gonna make a wee blob on my table. Make sure it's a table you don't want to keep. So I'm gonna tip out some of these. And this is the more tedious side of it that I'm sure we will time lapse the f out of. Right, Niall? You want this headpiece to look kind of invisible. You want people to not be able to guess where the f***ing headpiece stops and your f***ing heat starts. Now I've stoned my forehead, I'm going to take some glitter and kind of force it and glue it into all the crevices to just add a wee bit more sparkle, a wee bit more detail as well so that at every angle I'm blinding you with a light shining off my forehead, my crystals, my everything. Now having done French there, uh, being able to judge us and give us advice on how to do comedy is just like the coolest thing in the world to me. Like I've looked up to Don French for 
years. My mum introduced me to Dawn and Jennifer Saunders. Dawn French is everything I want to be in life. I, I love Dawn French. I think she's so amazing and bubbly and funny. She's very self-deprecating and then she can you know, make fun of other people as well. You know, everyone's in on the joke and I pure love her. I pure love the tips so far. Something that pure got me emotional that I, you know, sounds stupid, but it got me very emotional was walking down the runway in this very crazy look and um, hearing Don French say, Rock I the new. Legend sh <laughs> As you can see, I'm just repeating the process that I did before, just on the cheek. Fuck! All right, I'm gonna add some finishing touches off camera because this is driving me fucking nuts. And I'm gonna throw on some custom lashes so they're big and fluffy, so they can be seen through this very, 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 very arse liner. You've been very, very arse. Nice to meet you, Kelly. Very arse. And I'll be back with the finished look. I'm just calling to say I. I come in peace. <laughs> and this is the final look. This look was inspired by Lady Gaga, of course, but I would be lying if I didn't say I'm a big Doctor Who geek at heart. So this look was mostly inspired by a character called Eldrad from the 1976 Doctor Who episode called The Hand of Fear. Eldrad is such an underappreciated Doctor Who villain I was shooketh, the look is iconic. I remember thinking that Eldrad was the most fabulous looking villain ever because it was just such a chic design. I tried recreating Eldrad's look about four or five years ago for a club kids event up here in Glasgow and it was cute, you know, for someone with a bit of cardboard on their head. But right now, as you can see, I've upped my game to having some craft foam and Perspex plastic cut on top of my head. The goal was for me to take my inspiration of Lady Gaga and Eldrad from Doctor Who and look like a kind of B-movie 1960s, 1970s monster. I want to do a very, very quick shout out to all the people that made this look possible. Now the lycra base of this outfit was made by my amazing friend Connor at Get Frocked UK. Connor made this out of lycra and we made sure it was really, really tight and well fitting to my figure and my body because we knew it, we wanted it to look like a kind of nude illusion because I wanted it to look like my actual skin was pink and then we just rhinestone f*** it. <laughs> My friend Axel at Axel Artistries airbrushed this outfit so it was contoured so I looked pure ripped like I had big tits, like I had a big crack at the back. Axel then sculpted little kind of geodes uh, out of clay and then we cast them in latex and then glued them on the morph suit while I had to wear it to stretch it out. That was a lot of hours lying on the floor with a gas mask because some of the fumes were toxic from the glue and some of the spray paint we were using. So, it was a, it was a journey. It was a journey. To achieve all these huge crystals on the shoulders, the headpiece, or oh, the joint, my friend Axel used foam and perspex, cut it all up, glued it all together, then latex f it so that my friend Kim Chaos at Exotic Echidesiast could then come in last minute and stone oil it. It's Doctor Who monster, it's Lady Gaga bold as f and it's B-movie classic realness that I want to give on this runway. So what do you guys think? I personally love this runway look. I knew that if I walked down the runway being like, this is high fashion, I'm not gonna be funny this time, I, I knew it just wouldn't work because it's such a huge campy element. I'm in a f pink morph suit with crystal stuck to it for Christ's sake. Morning! Don't be so serious.
And congratulations, Bimini Bump Bullash babes. Me and you are joint winners right now. We have three wins each, you f bitch. You've dethroned me as the front runner, which I mean, I'm not terribly surprised at because I'm not running for anything. So, of course, someone catched up. Yeah, of course, Bimini caught up. So can you believe it? Big Loss is through to the semi-final of RuPaul's Drag Race UK. F*** me sideways. What will next week involve? Will we be singing our chops off? Will there be another snatch game? <laughs> if it is, I'm f***ed. I just hope I was able to make up for my horrible performance student snatch game with tonight's stand-up set. I had so much fun making Rue, Michelle, Alan and Don laugh as well as the other queens on stage and I love talking about deep throating Covid swabs, talking about my mum. My mum's probably gonna beat me up when she sees the set tonight. She will not like that I outed her as uh, outing me to my dad. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed tonight's episode. Thank you so much for all your support. If you're Team Cheney watching, thank you, babes. If you're not, your da sells Avon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.